Hi everyone, this is Diane at the Picket Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. Today is January 25th, 2011 and I'm looking outside our patio today and we got snow outside and it's cool. It's not too bad though, we're in the 20s today and it's just kind of nice out. But I'm thinking spring this time of year, I'm thinking propagation this time of year. And today we're going to propagate some spider plants that I've brought in here last fall. I got a couple nice big pots. Uh, propagation off of these is very easy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do some cuttings off of this nice large plant here. There's some really nice, there's some roots coming out on these little plants here. And these are very easy to start in some soil. Last year I done them, had really good success. And I usually do these now. I'll do some propagation and put them in some soil and then I'll transplant them in March in my greenhouse. And there they'll, and when I transplant them and move them into the greenhouse, they really, really take off. I moved the camera in so I can just kind of show you what I'm doing here real quick. Uh, this is not a hard process of cutting these off. If you can see, I have a lot of babies. And as you can see, you can see the roots are ready. They're ready to go. They're ready to be planted in some soil. So I'm going to show you here today. All I do, all you have to do is just take and you cut them off. And you can see where these roots are right here. You can see where the roots are. This is where you'll plant them. Okay. Just put them in some good uh, peat, perlite, vermiculite mix, or some potting. Nothing too heavy to get these started. But I'm just going to trim some off today and just kind of show you what I'm doing. This plant, I like, I love this plant because you can always, you always have new ones to grow. I'm gonna try, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking for some nicer, more uh, stout plants if I can find them. Some are a little more leggier, it, it seems. I'm also looking for the variegated ones and I notice there's some that that are all green on this variegated plant. So they do produce seeds and they do seed back to, to a uh, green color, okay? So that's probably why we have a few green ones mixed in. But I'm gonna go through and cut all these and then I'm gonna show you what I got after it. But it's very simple to do and you can do it. Uh, you, anybody can do it. Okay, I brought my cutting offsets of the spider plant down here in the basement where I do my potting and we're going to do some potting I'll get them potted up here today these are so easy to grow I'm going to trade here so you can just get a little better close up since these are already a lot of them have roots started um, like I'm going to show you one that's got a really good root on it some have really good roots started already I like ones that are really nice and full if I can get them and it, all you have to do is just stick this in the, with the roots coming out in the soil and just put a little bit of soil around it. Okay, That way it, it's able to start rooting on its own but I'm just going to go ahead and get these, fill, get these put into the tray. Um, the spider plant seems to be able to handle a lot of conditions. I noticed when I had them out in the greenhouse, they had pretty good sun. And in the patio, they're a little more limited on sun, but they're still doing pretty good. I think they, they look a little better if they get some good lighting, for sure. And so keep that in mind. I'm gonna try, I even got some that are just all green, and I'm gonna try a few of those too. Some people like different colors. But I'm going to put the smaller ones in this tray. I could put this on use bottom heat, but my my uh, heating mats are full right now. These will root just fine in a warm, warm uh, lit area. I am going to put the dome lid on them to keep the moisture in. That is really key to getting these started is to keep the moisture in. They dry out, you know, this you, you know how that goes though. 
it won't be any good. So I'm getting this flat pretty good. I'm probably going to have a couple flats the way it looks. I don't know if I need that many, but we'll go ahead and since I got them already cut off, we're going to use them. Okay. Once I get that flat filled, then we'll just water it in. I'll put a few more in there. Trying to pick the nicer ones out that I cut. Ones I, you know, are a little fuller in size already. They got a good start. Okay, uh, well, I also want to say that if you want to try a couple different methods instead of doing how I did it here today, um, since these spider plants have little roots, a lot of them have little roots started already, uh, you can try rooting them in water. I mean, a lot of people do it that way. And also, um, you can also leave the little baby spiders completely attached to the mother plant and, you know, get a, get a pot with some soil in it and set the pot right by the mother plant, pop these little little plants right in there and just let it sit there till it roots. Once it roots, then you can snip that off and it'll be ready to go. In the video, I also was snipping off on the ends to get these, these little babies. Go ahead and snip way up to the mother plant. I didn't do it on the video and I should have, but I'll have to go back and clean that up. It'll look better. But what I'll do now then is I use my little mister and we'll just water them in. This gets the foliage wet and also the soil. It's going to make for them to start rooting faster. And it doesn't take them very long to get going. Okay, once I get them, you know, watered in real well. What I like to do is just, you know, you see these dome lids that you can buy with those 10 by 20 trays. I'll just do that, put them under some light, uh, and you can also use bottom heat too if you want, but I don't have any available since my my, uh, flat, my heating mats are full, so, but they'll, they'll root either way. I've done it both ways last year and they'll be fine, so there you have it. There is propagating the spider plant. Very simple to do. Anybody can do it. And if you got any questions, comments, put them below this video. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. And this is Diane from the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Gardens.